Okay, it's Tuesday night and I didn't have much ready to go vlog-wise. I've been trying to document this video that I'm making, doing something with Breville for National Coffee Day, a little video. So there's a few roasters across the US that are participating in this. And I was trying to chronicle like the behind the scenes of the video, but I didn't really do that great of a job because I was super, super busy and intense with all kinds of other stuff. And then it came time to do vlog stuff and I didn't have a lot and I kept making excuses for why I don't need to put one up or why I shouldn't, but I promised myself I'd do one a week no matter what. So I'm doing it. So I just strung all the footage together and it doesn't have any music or anything. And I was really kind of weird about it or worried about it, but now looking at it, I actually really like it. It's kind of a nice break from the norm. It's a lot more natural flow, even though the storyline's kind of broken up, if that makes any sense, just because there's less editing. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this one. It's got a little bit of a different feel to it and have the best time out there. Boom, here you go. All right, today is Saturday and we're having a throwdown tonight. It's a fundraiser for our friend Evan. He's starting a coffee shop in his hometown of Hollister, California. And we're gonna donate all the buy-in proceeds to him, some of the merch sales, etc., etc. It's kind of like our first big coffee event, so it should be pretty sick. I gotta do a few things first. I gotta get a haircut. I need to brain, brain, brainstorm, brainstorm. I need to brainstorm this video I need to do, and I'm running low on ideas, so I gotta crank that. And I really need coffee. That's what I'm gonna do first. <laughs> Inside of the barber shop's totally full, which isn't odd. And then there's like 10 people outside. It's looking like a two hour thing. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to go. Bailed on the haircut, now I'm at home packaging up some of the pins to ship. I actually just went into the website and added an international shipping option, which I didn't have before, because it's kind of expensive for just a pin. So it's 14 bucks, and I kind of took an average of what it cost to send it to the UK, Australia, Japan, everywhere, and that's what I came up with. I was kind of shy about putting that up there at first because I didn't want it to feel like a ton of money and I was really self-conscious but a few people asked for it so I put it up there and that's what it is so if you live far away want to buy a pen got you also here is the new camera I haven't really used it too much yet I'm just figuring it out it's a Sony a6500 mirrorless I would love something like an a7s2 but they're so 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 expensive so this seemed to be the best compromise for the price it's gonna do more work for cat and cloud proper as well as probably start using this for the vlog or maybe switch to the Sony RX 105. I don't know, never shot with 4K before and I did a couple test clips and like, whoa, you can see a lot of stuff. It's almost too intense. So um, we'll keep you updated. Let you know when this thing comes online. I got a few little tidbits I'm gonna get for it. I need to get some more glass. I kind of want to get a gimbal and get back into shooting more cinematic stuff, which I used to do quite a bit, but haven't done for a while. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying the barbershop again. Got it fixed, mostly just the edges, you know? Gated, now it's gym time. Got my protein shake. Check this out. So that is a weird projector that was connected to that camera thing that we looked at earlier. And then there's this big screen. And apparently what's gonna happen is Michael Weiser, who is the technical wizard, there he is right there is going to allow us to project pores from the camera to the thing and up onto the onto the thing. Up onto the window. The like 1970s rear projector screen. Oh, there's stuff on it right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Cat and is all about making people smile and tonight we are helping out Evan with the Calvera Coffee in Hollister start up his own cafe. How was it? people are here. I'm a little anxious, but everybody's got it. It's gonna be great. Jared came out. He's back. He's back in the game. First round's in it. People in the window. Jay is judging, because that's what he does. Let's do a hot lap. Take one whole lap around the building. These guys. We got Mr. Baca himself. Tanner says it doesn't matter if I'm good at latte art anymore, but he started his own company with two other sick people. And sick then a whole people. Team of people. So sick. So latte art really doesn't matter at this point. I'd still like to be good. Evan's pretty cool though. Evan is cool. And he's good, which is why he can't pour, which is why he has to judge. A lot of cameras here. This is good. How you holding up? She's the best MC 
see I've ever seen. Oh yeah. Get that flexing. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just uh, much love to my man. It's your boy. My bo yeah, it is. It's Ross. your boy. It's your boy, Luca. So for Jared's role, I need a lot of gold. So I'm gathering gold things. Pen, watch, chain. Are you hungry? Cheap sunglasses, and I know I got. Oh yeah. In three places trying to find a plain white tank top and some plain white shorts of any kind and I keep coming up short and it's super obnoxious. Cool, thanks so much. Forever 21 had my back. They had exactly what I wanted for the most part and oh! Probably the worst store ever. It's just disposable bullshit fashion and I'm probably gonna return it. Jared just got back, so I'm gonna head to his house after I go home real quick. Do the double bump. They want you to like freaking rip it. <laughs> Jared's got a chair. G5. Spray painted gold shades. A glittery cup. Yeah, this is good. Is it glowing? Oh yeah. That's hey good. Rory. This is the location primer. Oh. Here's your here's your wet pants. <laughs> oh sick. <laughs> You're good. Oh. Uh just uh, pretty much just how the other one was. Uh, all right, go for it. Did a little test edit of the first two shots together, and I think they look pretty good, but I want the first one to be closer, so I'm gonna get tighter up, and then we're just gonna go from there. He's like super loud. Okay, got a lot of good footage with Jared yesterday. I saw some things when I played back at home that I didn't see there, but I think it's not that big of a deal for what it's going to be. So I have three different filming appointments today, one with Kristen, one with Tanner, and one with Billy the dog. I'm a little nervous because I haven't shot stuff like this in a while. I've been shooting mostly vlog type stuff, so I don't feel like I'm totally back in the zone, but you just gotta do it, and that's how it works. Just do it. I think I'm the first one here. You know, it's like smaller than I thought it was. Yeah! Or should we not do it? It's just flat. It's all the hips. Yeah. I've been stringing together footage and I'm honestly not that confident in it. I'm having like a really rough time with this one. And I haven't been filming much of the behind the scenes like I really wanted to because I've been asking people for their time and instead of just having them watch me vlog, I just want to really respect their time and just kind of knock it out, not keep them for longer than I need. So Tanner's coming later to do something. I think I need to eat. I'm in like a really weird, grumpy place. Grumpy, grumpy now. Got my professional lighting going on. Gotta play with the big boys, you know? I just slammed my finger in the door. Yeah, this is like the quintessential, like, I forget what this brand's name is, but it's, it's the one. Chris is taking it to the very top. All right. Rachel. Mark told me to give this to you. Jane's going out of town for Hello. four days. Hey, Sylvia. Like you got this. Pat, I got your mint tea here, sir. Thanks, man. Yeah, don't don't blow sugar water all in one spot, okay? Sugar water in the face. On the face. Oh. oh dang. Oh. <laughs> A little Alita. I'm gonna do a microphone test because I got this little video micro, which I had the video mic pro for a second 
returned it because I didn't want something with a battery because most of what I do is run and gun and didn't want to have to remember I'm, wi I'm winded, you could tell. I didn't want to need to remember to turn the mic on and off. So I got this, which I heard some sound samples of and sounded really good when paired with the Sony like A-series preamps in the camera. It sounded pretty awful with the Canon stuff, which is what I had before. But then when I recorded with it, I don't know if I had the level set really weird, but it had a lot of hiss in the background. So I'm gonna try to fix the hiss. I saw some Dropbox update and I was like, oh, I wonder if he's back. I haven't driven my car in a really long time. Jenny's been gone, so I've been driving the Jetta just because it's easier, but I forget how much I really like this thing. Especially with the shifter. Oh my god. Back to the house to get the brewer to finish the talking points. We're gonna finalize this thing, man. I'm gonna do it. Everyone's going to lunch, so I'll have a few seconds in the roastery to do what I need to do.